right, we back with Draft Blast, where we go back and review past Detroit Lions draft. Today, we're talking about the 2002 Detroit Lions draft, which was pathetic, horrible. I mean, however you want to describe it, it's your boy CJ Goodfellow, but we back with Motor City Sports Talk. And um, it was a pathetic draft, man. I'm going back, researching some of these guys, you know, and uh, finding out a lot of these guys didn't even stick with the Lions for too long. You know what I mean? They had uh, the first round pick was a uh, first pick. They had was a third pick of Raw Joint Harrington out of Oregon. Uh, Kalimba Edwards was the second uh, second round pick. Third round was uh, cornerback Andre Goodman. I know a lot of people remember him. Fourth round pick John Taylor. Nobody remember him, and I explain and elaborate why. Uh, fifth round pick tight end out of Notre Dame John Owens. Sixth round pick Chris Cash, defensive back out of South Carolina or so- uh, Southern California, excuse me. Um, Luke Staley out of uh, BYU. I'm pretty sure you don't remember him at all. Also, uh, Matt Murphy, um, tight end out of Maryland on the seventh round pick. And uh, another seventh round pick was Victor Rogers. So, um, overall, the Pistons, I mean, the Lions, excuse me, had three seventh round picks. One sixth, one fifth, one fourth, one third, one second, one first. Now, we all know about Drew Hanson. I remember we was watching uh, me and my grandpa back in the day. We was watching uh, Joey Harrington playing the Rose Bowl. He told me Jerry, Joey Harrington wasn't going to be anything in the league. And uh, he was 100% right. <laughs> uh, Joey Harrington, it could have been a product of the, the Lions not putting good talent around him. And this was a Matt Millen drafted team. So you already know what that means. And um, he was out of Oregon. He had, I think they had went to the Rose Bowl. I think they might have won the Rose Bowl in Oregon. And um, he just never got it together. Steve Mariucci never was able to develop him. And I believe he got gun shot. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have the strongest arm. Um, he just wasn't cut for the NFL, man. Joey Harrington was one of the worst uh, picks we had. We had a lot of terrible quarterback picks through the 90s and the early 2000s as well. I mean, shoot, Drew Stanton, he wasn't bad. But Mike McMahon, Drew Stanton, I mean, he got a lot of missed picks as well. Uh, Rodney Pete, Charlie Patch. Um, and I think a lot, a lot of those uh, those quarterback success were the real because the Lions didn't didn't really uh, develop quarterbacks and then put a lot of talent around them. Second round pick was Kalimba Edwards. He stuck around for a little bit with the Detroit Lions. Led the uh, lead, was a sack leader with six point five sacks in his rookie year. A few years down the line, he led with seven, but ultimately um, he moved on to another team. He never had a massive impact with the Detroit Lions. And I know a lot of people remember Kalimba Edwards. I know y'all do, man. Um, big guy. You're right there, number ninety eight. He looked the part, but, um, you know, he's stuck in the league for uh, well, for six years. He finished his career with the Oakland Raiders. Um, his numbers was horrible with, with the Lions, man. It was horrible. I mean, uh, 28 tackles, 28 solo tackles, 15, 18, 25. He had seven sacks. I mean, ah, he was terrible, man. <laughs> Sorry. He was terrible, man. You know, out of South Carolina, then the Lions doubled back. But another South Carolina pick in the third round, the 68 overall pick, with Andre Goodman, a uh, defensive back. Um, his numbers look good. I remember him finishing off with Denver. He stuck in the league for about, yeah, um, nine years. So uh, he went to, spent uh, the first uh, four years with Detroit, next three years with Miami, next three years with Denver. Um, he didn't really start that much with Detroit. He started 14 games his first year. The second year, he had a couple injuries, started three, 11 in his third. 15 uh, in his uh, final year with the Lions. So uh, he started more games, um, you know, in Denver. He, we started a full season in Denver. He never started a full season with the with the Lions. He he pretty much underperformed even for a third-round pick. But, you know, he was a speed guy. Um, but then again, like I said, you know, another terrible pick. But he stuck around in the NFL. He was a solid NFL player. I definitely remember him. Um, he just wasn't a great guy for a great player for the Detroit Lions, but he was steady. He just was injured so much, but you know, he stuck around. And then you got John Taylor, who never seen the field right there. I had to get that picture. He never seen the field for whatever reason that was out of Montana State. He was a defensive end, never played, so that's why you don't remember him. John Owens, the tight end from Notre Dame. Um, you know, he he had, I mean, no success, you know. I mean, I looked at his stats, legitimately no success throughout the NFL. He spent seven years um, in the NFL. He spent his first two with the Lions, eventually went to Chicago, New Orleans, came back to the Lions for a couple years, 
with Seattle, man. Um, ultimately, he finished his career with, with 76 games, 19 started, 22 receptions, 178 yards. You get the drift. Only one touchdown. So, um, like I said, he must have been more of a blocking tight end or whatever it may be. He legitimately didn't stick with, with the uh, <laughs> with the Lions, man. So, uh, I know, you know, some of these guys, I know y'all like, man, who, who the hell is that? You know? Well, John Owens. <laughs> and then Chris Cash, uh, another defensive back they drafted out of USC, Southern California. Um, pretty sure he didn't do much. Yeah, he spent three years with the Lions. Only started 17 games. Out of, they played 30. Um, uh, you know, pretty much, you know, not that good. <laughs> I think he had 100 tackles one season, though. It was in him and Andre Goodman. Luke Staley. Um, he came out of BYU early, injured his, uh, got an injury. Matt Murphy, Victor Rogers, um, don't remember him. Didn't think they had much of an impact on his team at all. Um, yep, you know, played a, only started three games in the uh, NFL for Matt Murphy, uh, Buffalo, Houston, and um, Detroit, and Victor Rogers out of Colorado. He played one game for Detroit Lions in the NFL as a, a tight end. I think he changed to an offensive lineman or something like that. Came in the league as a tight end, so terrible draft. One of uh, many by Matt Millen. Um, uh, you can give me a grade if you want to. It's probably a super F, E, Z. <laughs> Alphabets that haven't been invented. It was a terrible draft in the beginning of a terrible era that built up to 0-16 for the Detroit Lions because of Matt Millen. And um, I don't know how he was evaluating talent, but like he said, he was a fish out of water with the job. It's Motor City Sports Talk. We're going to hit you in the head with some more sports talk. A little bit later. Let me know what you think about this horrible 2002 Detroit Lions draft. Don't forget to share the videos. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. The information is in the description. We gone.